Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from Northern Maine. I've got one reason for you to belong to this channel. This is the second one of these fish that I've caught in the last two days. This is an eight pound lake trout, 27 inches long. So subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. This is all that this channel is about. Uh, fishing, hunting, anything to do with the great outdoors is what I cover in this channel. So I'm looking forward to meeting you. Subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and you have a great day. Well, good morning. Welcome to my cabin. Uh, times are changing, so I've decided this year I'm putting up a lot more fish in my freezer and canning jars just because the country has gone crazy. <laughs> what you see here is two freshwater e eels that I have caught. I am going to smoke these this morning and then I am going to put them into canning jars. And uh, what you want to do, they're already cleaned, they're already, what I like to do though now is run down along the back side here all the way to the tail uh, right up against the backbone and the reason for this is to just expose that meat in there to the smoke process And then when I'm done smoking these today, I am going to uh, put them in the pressure canner. In half pint jars. There's a pretty good sized backbone in there and between this skin and stuff it, that meat wouldn't wouldn't get penetrated very much yeah so he's ready well, I do it right here in the lower jaw I just poke a hole and then in my smoker I have hooks already in place so I put this in here, around his jaw, and then I hook, tie it up to a hook up on the top in my smoker. And I'll show you that in a minute. I hope you saw that earlier, cutting him. I guess you did. This is a little one, about two feet, but that's all right. Now I caught these while I was white perch fishing the other night. These are just a lucky catch. I really wasn't targeting them, but as always when I'm out fishing, if it's edible, I generally bring it home within reason. I don't believe in overfishing a spot, so I have several spots. I don't have just one lake that I rely on for white perch. Or Lakers for that matter. But white perch, some lakes there's no limit. Other lakes it's a 25 fish limit. And I only fished 
within my limits. That's why they're there. It's to help control the population of the fish so that there's not too many fish in any one body of water up here, as well as it allows for feed and stuff. They have slot limits up here for a reason, and that's to keep the fish uh, nice and healthy. I realize that that's most people uh, disagree with that in the fishing community. I think it's because they don't like to clean fish, to be honest with you. <laughs> or maybe don't even like to eat fish. It makes a good excuse not to keep a fish, I suppose. <laughs> but that's my thought, anyways. So these guys are ready for the smoker. What I have done is drilled a hole in the backbone so that it's got something to hang on to. wants to only go up that high in that jar. You want to leave a one inch head space and you want the skin to the outside of the jar and that's with any kind of fish.
At the end of this video, I'll put you in some links to more topics about the great state of Maine. There'll be three of them. I also have a round circle back there. I'm standing next to a bear. Click that bear if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. Looking forward to meeting you and uh, come along with me to the state of Maine.